Ohio has a wide variety of different tree species, including this somewhat unique looking tree called the pawpaw. Pawpaws have very large leaves, so they almost look a little tropical. And also their fruit has a little bit of a tropical taste to it, which makes it different than almost any other tree in Ohio. The fruit of the pawpaw is very unique looking. Um, it has this smooth flesh to it. Uh, it can be bright green all the way to yellow, and sometimes it'll have black spots on it. This isn't an indicator that the fruit's bad, it just has a kind of a unique look to it. The pawpaw fruit is usually ripe in mid to late September, and you can tell the fruit's ripe when it has a very somewhat soft give to it, like a very ripe peach. And once you can peel back that skin that's a little bit tough, you can see there's some nice kind of pulpy flesh in there, and that's the edible part. Um, you can use the, the pulp in there to substitute for recipes such as banana bread or anything really that has bananas in it. You can also see that they has, it has very large black seeds within. Now you can replant these and start your own pawpaw grove if you like. Now if you are interested in planting some pawpaws on your own property, make sure you plant at least two different plants because they have to cross pollinate with each other, kind of like apple trees do. Now there is something a little unique about pawpaw trees in that they're actually pollinated by flies instead of bees. Their flowers in the spring have a very rancid smell to it, but it's actually a quite beautiful flower. If you'd like to get out and try some pawpaw yourself, you need to be able to identify the plant. So it has very unique leaves. These are very long leaves. They can be up to a foot long, um, almost kind of a tropical appearance to them. And the branching pattern is alternating. So you'll have branches coming off at different points along the stem. Also, it has a very unique bud. So if you're trying to identify them in the winter to find a patch, it has this very almost paintbrush-like appearance to the bud. And if you feel it, it's very soft and velvety. And as you can see around me, there are multiple pawpaw trees all in this one area. And that's because pawpaws grow off of one single root system. So you'll end up with lots of different stems growing in one single area. In 2009, the pawpaw became Ohio State native fruit. And if you'd like to learn more about Ohio's trees, please visit forestry.ohiodnr.gov.